Hello everyone. Uh, today, um, this tutorial will teach you basically on how to animate um, the character here. And as you can see, um, the character here is using the human IK bone system. Right? And click on here and find under the character controls where you can find it over Windows uh, rendering and so Windows Animation Editors Human IK, then you get these extra tabs to pop up, right? And <clears throat> you might want to change to you know, the last tab, Control tabs. So this way, you know, assuming that in you know you have followed our you have followed my tutorial inside the class on setting up the Human IK bones and skinning the uh, body mesh to the bone and you know, assuming that you already reached to this uh, level here so this tutorial is just covering about the walk cycle how to do a walk cycle animation uh, in Maya using the human IK bone system here alright so the first thing that we need to do is we need to um, <coughs> Just, I'm just going to introduce a bit about the human IK here. That this is the controller. You can see the controller here. You can hide and hide. And this is the bones. You can hide and hide. Usually, uh, you just hide the the bone itself, right? It's because um, just animate using this should you know should be enough. If it's not enough, you can still turn on the uh, what you call this the the bone and adjust it man manually right like that so uh, I'm just going to turn this off so I just only see the control for the bones only right and um, as you can see here that <coughs> um, you also have uh, the you know show original bone this is the bone that before we you know, create the control rigs for this. You know, if you want to hide this, and I just want to show you about this one. This is the the full body bone. So the full body bone, if you kind of like move one limb here, it's kind of stretch the whole you know, character kind of like stretch and follow that kind of pull on that particular limb, right? And so if you go down, say if you squat, um, squat down, um, you can see a plus sign here. This is controlling the, <coughs> actually controlling the, um, the swivel angle of the knee, All right? And so you, can, you can also find this here, uh, which actually controls the uh, swivel angle for the elbow, All right? Let it uh, uh, I can just press this one. And, right. uh, this tool is very handy. This is to bring back the let's say if you if I already uh, let's say move you know, some parts down like this, and I can go back, make it return back to the original stand pose by clicking on this one, this icon over here. We will bring it back there. All right. Um, another mode is that you have the body part modes here. Body part is basically if I pull it, pull the limbs now in the controller. Right? See, it's just it's just gonna affect only the you know certain portion of the body parts of the limbs that you pull. Or it, it doesn't basically it doesn't affect the whole body. So if I split this in now, it won't push the whole body to that side, like the full body mode here. Okay, so basically that's the basics to cover about this. Um, I'll return back to you know you, when during your animation you, you might want to change uh, full and body mode at times um, I'll show you as we go along all right so um, for now I'll just stick to the um, body parts and what we need right now is to just do a quick setup for this um, I'm gonna go to the channel box I want to use this layer here so I have uh, the bones layer and then the mesh layers. I think the eyes should be inside the mesh layer, so I'm gonna add to it. Alright. 
and and uh, so I'm going to create a new one so I'm going to hide everything here so I'm going to be selecting the whole um, controller here all right including the eye controller and create a new layer here this I will name it as um, I will name it as um, uh, bones controller. All right, so to L, all right. So let's call uh, save. So uh, I can reason for it is that I can uh, hide and hide. And also do a quick selection on it by right clicking on it and then select object see I can quickly select object like that this to ensure me to put all the keyframe for the post to post animation that you know you want to set up for the character okay now <clears throat> so what we're going to do next is we're going to set up the go to polygon tabs and create the like a, make a big huge plane for this right, a huge plane this will act as the floor can turn off the grid so for the character to actually to you know to kind of walk on top of it right so uh, we are doing any uh, walk cycle animation so walk cycle animation we don't actually uh, you know need to make the character walk forward the character just walk in places you know like as if it's running on a treadmill so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put this into a new layer and so I'm gonna name this as the floor. And the reason for it is that I want to be able to reference it. So I'm freezing it basically by using reference is actually like freezing. You know, so I, I don't accidentally I don't accidentally end up selecting the floor instead. Alright. <coughs> so with that done. Another thing to, to take a look at is okay, uh, of course your time configuration here under your timeline. How what is your frames per second speed? All right, so the thing that you need to set because it's very very important that you change all this. Um, so go click on this small icon here and make sure this key icon is turned on always auto key, red color. Then turn on these. Click on the settings there and. Make sure you look at under the time slider, you see a playback speed is real time 24 fps. So, uh, what we, we want to go for for this uh, assignment uh, for your assignment is that um, you need to change this to 25. So, go to settings, change uh, non films to PAL 25, and when you go back down to time slider, so it should be real time 25 fps. The rest is should be okay. Make sure the speed is 1x. And uh, yeah, okay, let's save it. All right, because you don't do that, that you can you kind of create a lot of problem there when you start to do your animation. So just uh, the number there is a bit off, so you just need to just round the number up. Right? Like previously, the number is not. So now it's okay. To so one, one to one, because we changed the, the frame, uh, the time code just now. That's why. You have a zero one point zero four like that. So just round the number up. This should help you a lot. All right. Okay. Another important note is that when you start animating, don't you know if you realize. I I, I just noticed that the that the animation will come out into an error if you you know once you start animating halfway and then suddenly you want to change to different time code, then that you have a problem. You have a the keyframe kind of be in off places then it's very hard to fix so it's better to set up in the beginning get it right and then you know you don't have to face that same you know, shit problem again all right <coughs> so now we're gonna start with the animation so uh, um, for this I don't want to spend too much time on making crafting the, the poses very nice because uh, you know, the, I just get that we gonna running up running out of time doing it so I'm gonna do a, like a simple kind of poses just, just to get you know how the concept of how to make how to make walk cycle. All right. So <coughs> first thing that I need to do uh, now so is that uh, I'm gonna go back to frame one. 
um, as you can see here I'm stretching to 50 by now I think just leave it to 50 first alright so 1 here to 50 alright this is the whole thing alright um, so first thing to do is to uh, go to the select, selecting the I'm gonna select the bone, selecting the bone controller and then uh, select objects uh, so I'm selecting all the as you can see um, the uh, bone controllers and then you press S on the keyboard to actually uh, start planting the key. I don't know why it doesn't work. Let me try that again. Alright, there you go. Stupid Maya. <laughs> um, yeah. So, as you can see, that red particular bar there is the um, the keyframes. So uh, when I press S, it kind of save all the all of this into here. Uh, it kind of record all things. It's, it's important to do that when you do your uh, post to post animation. So to do the walk cycle, you don't start with the character walk uh, standing and then you start walking. Uh, you start with the character already halfway walking. For example, like with the first try, you can choose either left or right. So in my case, uh, the left is the left foot is the front. I'm gonna make this like halfway like this. So the back leg can go slightly up. Can bring it up like that. Okay. Um, I wanna push it. Okay. For walking, you don't you don't have to actually make the strike too far away. There's a big closed gap like this. For running, you can do a wider gap. All right. So I'm um, usually walking the pal the hip here. Tilt it forward. All right. So what I'm doing here is uh, I already have a keyframe here by default. So as I do the changes, by the auto key will kind of updates this uh, keyframe here. <coughs> so I'm gonna do a quick one here. The head is uh, maybe not too front. Okay, just a uh, bit normal. Um, and then put the link, the legs, maybe the hand. Um, usually another thing about walking is that. Um, your hand kind of move the opposite of the leg, right? If right, right now the left leg is in front, so the actual uh, right hand should actually swing in front, not the left hand here, right? It should be at the back. So I'm just gonna do a subtle swinging motion because it's just walking, right? Um, you can also adjust the if you look in front like this. Can adjust the hip to actually kind of sway to the left a bit. This is kind of like transferring weight from left to right, left to right. So you want to weight the hip to be like that. We slide it left and right. You can do a bit more, but I'm just showing you the basic of you know, how to animate walk cycle. All right, so this is the the first mode. So I'm going to rotate a bit. All right. Um, you can also you know, do a little bit of rotation on the shoulder itself also. So it should be like the opposite. Same with the hand. Shorten the hip. Right. So this is considered as um, the first key here. Considered as the left. Then uh, we're gonna go right now. We not we don't know the, the speed of the animation, so I'm just gonna like. Randomly uh, assigned to let's say frame 15 for the other post. So I'm gonna press uh, S again. All right. Okay. By clicking on all the you know, select all objects, go to this frame, and press S again, and now re-updating to do the opposite legs. So you can like do it like this. Uh, push it slightly to the back. So 
Now the leg is uh, going this way a bit. It's going to shift to the right and the right foot is going to be like walking with my just this toggle left to the right. So I'm gonna pull slightly down a bit. The the knee is a bit too tense, too tense there. So left, right, see what's left. Okay, then after the other poses like the hand wall. I'm gonna rotate it slightly that way. We adjust back the head. Then the hand will be the opposite. Spring to the back and I should freeze this. Right. Swing to the front. So I have like it's kind of like walking. You now we can we can I can go back and improve this a bit more if I want to, but I just don't want to spend too much time fixing it. So just to give you an idea how it works, and don't forget to repose the finger. I make a relaxed finger pose, but I'm not gonna spend too much time on the fingers because, like I said, this is, I mean, this is just a basic tutorial on how to basically do. Ah, this is a problem with the skinning there, but yeah, I'm gonna ignore that. But you guys should, you know, pose the hand more better. All right, so um, so I'm gonna jump to the 15 again. Right. So now what I have is uh for one to fifteen is the the left right. So the other loop should be uh, for fifteen should be thirty, right? So it should be thirty here. So this should be uh, left right left left right left. So we already have a left pose here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this whole thing. And this whole keyframe here on frame one, and then paste it on frame thirty. But the problem is that if you do that by using the human IK bones, the system here that we are using, all right, this human IK, it will definitely crash, all right. So you don't want that to happen. So basically, don't select, like select all, um, select all objects here between the controller here. And then you can hold shift and then drag that. So I'm selecting the, I can like move this around, but what I want is I want to copy this, right click, copy, and then when I paste it here, paste space, it will definitely crash Maya. So that is the most horrible thing that we don't want to go through. So what we are going to do, uh, actually, what I found out is that um, there's an alternative to that. The reason is because uh, you can actually do with normal bones or other objects, but it's just you can't do this with human IK system because they have a different kind of system here. 
so to do that basically all you need to do is just select one of the controller it can be the shoulder or any parts so then make sure you change from body part to full body so full body is is actually affecting the whole key framing methods if you are in the full body mode and if you just select even one parts of the controller and if you press S what happens is it will also save other part of the bones right? I mean other part of the controller here so that's the difference here so to do that I mean to do the correct way is you use full body mode and then select one part of the controller and then select the uh, keyframes okay shift shift just click there make sure it's there, there's, there's yellow key, the keyframe turns yellow inside the red you know, section there and then right click on it copy and bring to frame 30 and then just paste as you can see the whole body change right because the whole body now have keyframes there thanks to the full body mode here right so I have left right left because okay, so I'm now I'm gonna now this is my main poses that I've already blocked out so I'm gonna see whether the timing is right or not from one poses to another check the timing of the speed yeah, I think it's a bit too fast so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select drag all three keyframes and then select this small yellow arrow here just to drag so make sure you are in the full body mode here and then just drag to let's say I'm gonna use 40 keyframes now right or oh, let me just redo that again um, Track one by one, you see some problem there. So, can't figure out why Maya did that kind of stupid error. So, uh, so I'll go about 20 and then another 20 uh, per animation per strike of the walking. So, that's kind of be that's kind of okay, right? So, still, there's a long way to, to go to fix this problem here, all right? So, now left to right so I'm gonna crop this to 40 alright so so I can when I play it always appear in the loop like so alright so just pause that um, so what we're gonna do now is gonna do more enhancement put a key in between here because the problem now is we are, the leg is missing the cycle the cycle so like see the back leg here should be lifting up to get in front so we are going to use full body and then press S put an, another pose here and repose the leg here to be you know lifting up just slightly a bit okay can we just rotate that a bit then this will should give that illusion of the leg is you know lifting up and then lands and you can also fix the left leg because at this point, the left leg should be purely flat, flattened on the floor. Okay, here's the thing. Um, whenever you change the keyframe here, because the other end here. Because left, right, because uh, left, right, left. So the left here needs to be updated as well if you change the left on the first keyframe. So you need to, all you need to do is shift select that, copy, and then paste. Yeah, and hopefully nothing shit will, hap will happen. Alright, so see it's uh, looking more better now. Alright, a bit like that, and then we're gonna go to frame 30 in between here. Just put the S keyframe there um, to fix this problem now. So the back goes in front, just lift up the leg a bit. Yeah. Sorry. 
see that. There you go. So we're gonna fix the leg here. That should be flattened on the floor. Okay, so now if I play, we have the legs working. Okay, so depending on what kind of style you're working, so I'm just doing a generic working here. Alright, nothing much here. So, I'm going to pause this. Um, another thing is missing is the hip. It's actually just staying there. It doesn't go up and down, doesn't go up and down. Usually when we walk, our hip goes up and down because we are lifting our body. So, Usually at uh, this the middle here from left to right again at frame ten you can move him go slightly up right ah uh, sorry she goes slightly down all right then you have to still go down a little so it should be up. So, and it's already quite straight up there. So, let me see. Right. So, I need to change the main poses here. So, I'm going to bring this down a bit. This should be down a bit. And I'm going to update. Shift the one here, copy, and then paste this one here. So I have so I think it should be more low end. Yeah, it should like low, up, low. So that's the motion that I want. All right, so I'm gonna. Copy that again and update on this one. So if I play it now, so you can see that it's actually going up and down, up and down. It looks a bit like a woman walk, but it's okay. He's wearing some kind of faggot uh, spandex, anyway. Right, right. So, um, yeah. Then after that, you can go to another pass. You know, I mean, this is just the hand. So the hand now is like it's from one point to another. So what can you do is you can actually add a like a timing drag. This is a drag down like that, so you come. See, it doesn't want to go straight yet. Then only you go. Um, so maybe add a bit of. Yeah, just a little bit subtle motion that it can actually change the whole loop of it. Remember, I'm using the full body bone, so I should, so I should be changing to the body parts. So what I have here is a, a bit more, you know, run, a bit more uh, detailed kind of movement in between the left and right, left and right. right. So what you can also add is the, like a head bobbing, right? For example, like here, so maybe the head goes slightly up and then slightly up. You see the head now is bobbing up and down, up and down. It's following the movement of the hip here. When the hip move up, it's kind of like pushing the head up. And you can get a decent walking cycle here. Yeah. Alright, there's a lot of things. I'm just showing the beginning. I mean, you can actually practice and uh, experiment with it. So, 
to get a more better or even stylized kind of walking. There are many types of walking. There are you know, like fat people walking. There are girls walking, female walking. There are many types of walking. Even cartoon style, a lot of style. So hopefully this can shed some lights. Oh yeah, another thing is that to finalize things, uh, your animation should be for I mean, uh, in like at least the cycle must be around four seconds. So you want to change this whole thing to so 25 frames per second, meaning uh, you need 100 frames to make it four seconds. To stretch this everything to there. So now I have my first cycle here: left, right, left. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy from here and here, copy this whole thing. Uh, I should be going to the full body mode and copy this whole thing, these whole two frames here. Just uh, copy. Rank 40 should be going by 10 here, right? 10 around here. So 40, 50, then I paste it at 50. There you go. So it's kind of like still walking now. Then you can still paste it. 80, which means it's 90. Paste another one. There you go. So when I animate, there you go. You have a four-second walk cycle, right? That you can render and you know, finish up your assignment. All right, guys. So that's a quite a long video. So hopefully this is beneficial for you. Uh, the other video. The next video is going to be the running cycle, so I'm going to go a bit more faster with the running cycle now that I've shown you some uh, early setups. So I'm going to skip that part. So I'm just going to start animating for the running cycle. So yeah, see you guys on the next video.